I wanted to pick up on the fact you mentioned there's multiple vaccines in the pipeline right now. And I think in the past we said 50% is the effectiveness that might be the, the touch point, the benchmark. But I know you've said you want something 75% or greater. If there's early adoption of a quote, safe and effective vaccine that might be 50% effective and some of these others come along at 75 and 80, are people, the early adopters going to say, I better go get another vaccine? Are people going to be getting vaccines that are proving to be more effective as they roll out? What's your view on that? Yeah, it depends on what the delta of effectiveness is. I mean, if it's, you know, one is 70% effective, one is 65, I don't think that's going to make much difference. If you have the difference, as we're seeing between the first generation and second generation Zoster vaccine, which is a big, big difference in efficacy, then I think you're going to have people going to get the second vaccine also. Right. And, and the recent uh, AstraZeneca trial where they had to halt it for a period of time, uh, I guess they still have halted in most countries other than the UK. Uh, how do you think that's going to play with regard to some of the safety concerns in the public? And do you, are well, you concerned about the transparency of this issue? Well, I can tell you that anytime you have something like this, it really is something you see in almost every trial. There's always a serious adverse event that the data and safety monitoring boards look at. They analyze it. They alert the sites for something that is similar to or identical to that so that they don't miss a second or third event. Um, so that's not an unusual thing to have a pause on a trial, which then continues. The trouble is there's so much attention and suspicion and reticence in the community that even something as normal and innocent as putting a trial on hold for a while, which in another disease or another trial, nobody would even think about. Right now, people in me say, ah, the vaccine is unsafe. I kind of turn it around and say, this shows that the system actually works because when you do have a serious adverse event, the system allows you to immediately pick it up, put on a pause, examine what went on before you make a decision to proceed. So it actually gives you comfort that the system is working as opposed to the fact that you're doing something that is inherently unsafe. 